Hello and welcome to this episode of Expats where Emily has finished school and cannot find where she has packed her makeup. So is looking rather fresh today. <laughs> this week we are talking about things that make us feel more at home when we are away from home. And seeing as I've been packing, I've been going through a lot of my stuff and sorting through things, things that I want to keep and things that I'm going to leave here. And I'm also going to California for the next week and a half um, with a few of my friends. So basically I'm trying to like organise and prioritise and so I've been thinking quite a lot about it since we set the question for ourselves. And when we decided to talk about this topic, I was going to like show you the cases that I had packed and kind of show you the things. I, I made two cases, one that would stay here whilst I was in California and one case with all the things that I knew that I really would need. But then the case with the things that would be staying here has gone to my friend's house for safekeeping. So I can't go through that. Things in that case that I would show you if I could, but I can't, that I consider my homely things. When I move off to university or if obviously I'm here if I'm away, I like to keep photographs of friends and family and like just happy memories and things that I stick on the wall. Or I like to like stick them up where I can see them. I also like to have certain books with me if I have like read them at home specifically. And on my Kindle I have a certain number of books that I bought because I knew that I wouldn't be able to bring them with me and I wanted them. Even if I don't read them I like to know that they're there if I do want them. So I have the Jane Austen collections, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I don't, I didn't get all of them on my Kindle, but I have them all at home. Hunger Games. Also, um, one that I realized I didn't have that I really felt like reading recently was The Host, which is by Stephanie Meyer, but it's way better than Twilight and I actually really like it. Like guilty pleasure, I like it. Things that are here that I can show you that make me feel homely. I like to have bed covers that if they're not the exact ones I have at home, if I can't take them with me, then I want ones that are extremely similar. I feel like I want to be as comfortable as possible in a foreign place, like foreign to me place. I like to have comfortable pajamas because I figure the more relaxed I am in a different place, the better I will feel. So it's all about making me as lazy as possible. Also, you are sitting inside it right now. I like to have a computer because when I am away, I am constantly connected to back home and it takes up most of my free time. And maybe it's just, it goes without saying, but I need a computer. It is like my lifeline, which is kind of sad, but I don't consider it so. And I'm kind of worried because on this California trip that I'm going on, I'm not going to have a charger for my Mac because the only one I have is British. I'm having to give back the one I borrowed from the college IT department. So I'm going to be without a Mac charger. So we will see how that goes because my battery doesn't last that long because I use my computer constantly. Less to do with objects more than just lifestyle. I like to keep the same routine. When I got here I tried to get used to the time zone as quickly as possible so I like to have the same bedtimes and wake up times and meal times and all that kind of stuff just to get a sense of normalcy in the zone whatever. One of the more recent things that I think has less to do with making me feel at home more than more just pining after home generally is I've been watching a lot of British TV shows becoming slowly more and more obsessed. Yay! So yes this has been Emily's guide to making her feel more at home and Brittany it is good to have you back and Gael just more of the same stuff tomorrow I guess. What makes you feel at home when you are abroad at school and yeah